showcase between Daniel Cormier and Anthony Rumble Johnson. Born in Dublin, Georgia, former high school running back and, of course, high school wrestler, Anthony Rumble Johnson once said, real warriors don't talk. They just go out and get the job done. And that is what Rumble is all about, defeating his opponent and moving on to the next challenge. One thing to look out for from him is his low kicks. He throws them with devastating power. And if you can't defend against them, he will kick the legs right out from under you. It doesn't take too many before you start to lose speed and punching power. of the 2008 wrestling team in Beijing. He likes to use his wrestling in reverse, prevent the takedown, and force his opponent to stand and strike, where he has had lots of success as a professional mixed martial artist. Daniel Cormier is a winner. Whether it's in wrestling or in mixed martial arts, his drive, determination, and work ethic has proved to be a devastating combination. Daniel Cormier enters the octagon, ready to throw down. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Johnson is 32, Cormier is 36. Johnson will have a six inch reach advantage. And once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment U.S. fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a bump of a top from Mudder, Anthony Rumble Johnson. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel D.C. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Wow. No touch of the gloves. Daniel Corbier. Anthony Wait. Johnson. Wait. Scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. White trunks for Johnson, black trunks for Cormier. A big part of Anthony Rumble Johnson's arsenal that people forget about is his wrestling. Look for him to try to establish the takedown tonight. Just misses with the left. Good jab. The one-two by Johnson. And there he swung with the haymaker. Oh, big, big head kick, kick. Joe. Oh, he scores left. with a Punch. huge left. Oh! There he is! He got the takedown. Guillotine. Oh. 
Can he choke him out? He might get in here. Look at this. Try to choke him out. He got it. He got it. And it Nicely is all done. over. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Once again, here's our fight replay. And let's take a look at this nasty guillotine here. Locked in, nice and tight, perfect position for the victory. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds in the very first round. Declared the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke, Anthony Rumble Johnson! Anthony Johnson, winner by submission.